Fencore AS500 Surface Profiler. Uh, the system on power off it takes a couple of minutes to initialize. If the stage is not initialized, the stage will go to the home position and soon after boot up is complete, uh, press Z theta or function 5 and press the down arrow to move the stage up. As the stage moves up, uh, we can notice the sample. And using the X and Y knobs, we can locate the zone where we actually want to do the profile. So the Z theta function allows us to locate the stylus, the cross hair to be placed at the starting point of the profiling and press the up arrow, the stylus leaps up. So you press the F4 to quit this and in order to verify the recipe uh, there are menu items here such as recipe, data, configuration, calibration, diagnostics and the exit to exit the software. So click on view modify. Now this is the recipe, uh, various recipe parameters such as can length, speed can be changed. Uh, by using the right and left arrows uh, like that and speed currently it is set 50 micrometers per second and, and the direction of the scan could be either left to right or right to left it's possible to change the stylus force is set in the calibration menu uh, which is to be done by adjusting the set screw on the stylus arm uh, which is dis described in the user's manual So if there are any changes are made in the recipe, press F1 to save. Uh, I didn't make any changes, so I'm going to retain it. And if you click on catalog, you can see all the stored recipes in the system. Now, this system is with a dual range possibility, either 300 micrometers step height or 13 micrometers. The option of 2000 micrometers is not available on this machine. And all these recipes uh, are available, which were written by the previous users. And in the configuration, you can change the, the database yeah, or the data this location, disk path, and various settings such as stage setting or uh, date and time. You can also have a password in order to secure the information. This system currently is not connected with a printer. 
So I have a standard uh, placed on the stage. So to run the profile, we press the start. And now the stylus goes up, down, and there's a delay of three seconds. And soon after that, the profiling starts. We can see the profile. It's a used standard, so a little bit One more sample. This standard is about 4,400 angstroms in step height. So we can see the left and right cursors here. We can move the cursors using the these uh, left and right arrows, or using the trackball, we can select either one. So the left cursor will act like a reference. So the measurement, the step height, is indicated with the at the peak with respect to the left cursor is about 4,457 angstroms, which is about right. I'm going to repeat the scan again. So if the straight, if the initial profile is not straight, then the stage needs to be leveled. So right now the the arm, the profiling boom is. Uh, so you press the left and right cursors, and then press level. So right now. The leveling is done, the level cursors are on, are on either sides of the, these are the level cursors. And so the leveling is completed and it is replotted the profile. So now we get this measurement again. It's always safe to go to Z theta, Z theta mode and press the up arrow to lower the stage and then slide the stage out using the Y knob and you can access the sample in the stage. It's a manual stage. The X and Y knobs are on the left-hand side of the system, under the stage. And after you place it, make sure the stylus tip is where we want to profile. So this can be seen as we start pressing the down arrow. We can see the pattern on the wafer or the sample. So the user manuals will be included with this machine. We'll have all the detailed procedure for operating the machine. So
I'm going to run the scan here. Uh, the stylus arm is very sensitive to the vibrations hence the computer is currently placed on a separate table for testing this instrument so the exhaust so that the exhaust fan inside the computer won't add any vibrations to the profile.